Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's me. It's Mark. Yes, and I'm here for another live stream with you. Yes, you and me together. We are going to be here together. However, before I start, I need to know if you can see me, if you can hear me, if you can see me, and if you can hear me, please say yes in the comment stream so that I know everything is okay. That means um, the computer is working, the, <coughs> the, the software is working, everything is a-okay. And I see Lolly and she says yes, okay. Hello, Lolly. Thank you so much. Yay. There is Sleepwalker. Hello, Sleepwalker. Tetsuro. Hello, Tetsuro. Tomas. Hello. The green team is in the house. Yes, yes, yes. All right, everyone. Thank you for being here with me. Yes, there is Hashem. Hello, Hashem. And I see Violet. Hello, Violet. Yes. Helga. Hello, Helga. Alice. Yes. There is Ella, great, great, great. Now, ah, Sadaf, hello, good, 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 good. All right, well, um, I hope you are happy. I hope you are well. I hope you're doing good. We are going to be here for two hours. Are you ready to be here with me for two hours? Yes? Okay, great, because I am ready also. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, great, great, great. And... Um, what we always do, we, before we start, we have a toast for good luck. Yes, we do. So let's have a toast for good luck. Yes, okay. So if you have a beverage, I have one right here. Right here is my beverage. It is hot, hot coffee. Just made. Woo, it's hot <laughs> and delicious. Yes. So pick up your beverage for a toast. And our first toast is going to be for the green team, the supporters, they make it happen. They support me, they support the channel, and they support you because they make it happen, all right? Without the green team, this wouldn't happen. So cheers, green team, yes, all right. Bump and, ch and cheers, bump and cheers, okay? Because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Let's have a drink. Mm. Oh, it's hot, 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 yes it is. And for our second toast, it is for you. You are here. You are here with me. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So thanks so much. And let's have a toast to, of course, you and a wonderful, informative, productive, and wonderful lesson today. Yes. Cheers, everyone. If you don't have a beverage, we can just bump here. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Bump, okay, and for another drink, yes. <laughs> mm. All right, good, 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 good. All right, so we, like I said before, we are going to be here for two hours. Yes, we are. Oh, Sewu, hi, Sewu, how are you doing? Thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of our green team, Sewu. Yes, yes. Okay, great. Um, now, let's talk about today's lesson plan, yes. Oh, before I do anything, I have to say the official hello. Here is the official hello. Marion, how are you doing, Marion? Here is the official hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Thank you for being here with me because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. One more time. Thank you for being here because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. Okay, so thanks so much. All right, that was the official hello. Now for today's lesson, we are going to do um, guess the meaning. All right, I'm going to give you a card, a symbol, a sign, and you're going to tell me the meaning, okay? Then we will do dictation cards, and there are three steps to dictation cards. Step one, you will um, listen and write what I say word for word. Step two, you will shadow with me. And step three, you will do it on your own, all by yourself. Yes, yes. And then we will do which one doesn't belong. I will give you four things. And then within the four things, one thing does not belong. And you tell me what it is. 
and the reason why it doesn't belong, okay? You tell me what it is, and most important, the reason why it doesn't belong, all right? So that is the um, what doesn't belong game. Then we will do Lolly's Revenge. Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue, Joe and Sue, and there are four steps. Step one, I will read the conversation. Step two, I will ask you questions about the conversation. Step three, we will read the conversation, and step four, we will shadow the conversation. Yes, we will. There are lots of things to do, lots of practice for you. Yes, that's why you're here, for practice, right? And that's what we're going to do. We are going to have lots and lots of English practice for you. Okay, Kenneth, hi, I see Kenneth there. Okay, Aisha, hi, Aisha. Okay, so let's get right to it, shall we? Yes, we should. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so um, let's do guess the meaning activity, okay? So uh, let's review, okay, um, today is Tuesday. On Friday we did this, we did four cards on Friday. Last Friday we did four cards, and I have four new cards for this week, okay? Um, let's review last week's real quick, okay? Just, it's, it's good to um, review and, um, yeah, review and refresh what we learned just a little bit ago, okay? So let me get a, I need to get a white card to cover the word, right? <clears throat> okay, here we go. You tell me the meaning, please. What is the meaning? Guess the meaning. W what is the meaning? So in the comment, so in the comment stream, please um, write what this sign means. We did, we did this on Friday. So let's review it again. So I'm waiting in the comment stream for your answer. I'm waiting for your answer. No, Lolly. No. No. What is the answer? Yes, Helga. Sewu, you got it. So Helga and Sewu have the answer. All right, and the answer is one way, one way. No problem, Lolly. This is practice. Don't say sorry. One, ah, one way, one way, one way. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's do, let's do another one. This is a review again. We did this last Friday. Here's our next one. Do you, re do you remember? Okay, do you remember what this one means? Do you remember this sign? Do you remember this one? You remember, Helga? Okay, what is it? <laughs> tell me. You remember? Please tell me. Please tell me. Or tell the world. Lolly, yeah. Well, don't take this way. <laughs> okay, close. Yeah, okay, that is the meaning. But that's not the exact word we say. Okay. Almost, yes, Ella's got it. Ella has it. Do not enter. That's right. Do not enter. So, so that is, you guys have the meaning. So actually, um, actually, you are correct on the meaning, right? So don't take this way. That means do not enter, right? So you got it. You, you know the meaning. But the, the exact word on the sign will say, do not enter. Do, <coughs> do not enter. Okay, let's do our next card. Let's review the third one. Here's the third one. What is, what is this one? Hey, Minnie, how you doing? Oh, you're still working. Okay, well, we're here for two hours, Minnie, so... Um, We'll be here for two hours, Minnie. So don't worry. Don't worry, Minnie. We, we are going to be here for two hours. Yes, Lolly, you got it. Stop. Stop. 
in the name of love. Okay, so this is stop sign. Okay, and one more to review. One more to review. Here we go. Here is our last one to review. Do you remember this one? Do you remember? Do you remember this one? Do you? <laughs> so three is um, stop. Yeah, stop here. Yep, that's right, Tomas. Stop right here. Don't go further. <laughs> okay. What is, what does this one? Ah, uh, no. Yes, Marion, you got it. Marion has it. Oh, okay, Paul. Hey, Paul. Okay. Qua okay. Gotcha, Paul. Thank you for telling me your name. Yeah, say we was like, well, no, no train. We it's it's train crossing. So the train will cross, you know, at that place. Okay. So say we the train will cross at that place, right? Where the sign is, this is where the train crosses, right? Railroad crossing. So this is where you see this sign, this is where the train will cross the road. The train will cross the road here. The train will, the train will cross the road here. The train will cross the road here. Okay? Good, good, good. And remember, um, last week we, we, I wrote everything on the board and I took a picture. So you can always go to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, to review what we did before. You can always review what we did before. Go to my Facebook group page to review the past whiteboards. Okay. Good job, everyone. Now it's for the new, new ones. Okay, here we go. New cards. You tell me what it means. Okay, you tell me what it means. Okay, or tell me, yeah, what it means. What's the word? Okay. What's this sign? I'm sure everyone's seen this before. You've seen this one. This is international, so what does this one mean? What is this one? Hey, Minnie, no problem. No, 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 Lolly. Have you seen, do you, have you seen this before? I think this is pretty common. Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, friend, that's the meaning, yeah. Can, there's a, a better word, there's like one word. Okay, um, on, off, yeah, G good, Violet, yeah, on, off, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, Aisha, great. Thank you, Aisha. Yeah, okay, switch on, turn on, turn off. Okay, that, okay. Ba, Bara, you got the, per that's perfect. Bara has the perfect word. So, power. So, power. So, this is where the power is at. So, to turn on the power, you push it, okay? To turn off the power, you push it, okay? So this is where the power is, okay? This is where it's located, the power, okay? Power, okay, good. Okay, let's go for our, okay, so I'll put this here so everyone can see, okay? So, so number one, power. Okay, and let's go number two. Here's three and four. So we have four cards. Two, three, four. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, here we, 
So power, yeah? The power button. Yeah, Tomas, good. Power button. Okay, here we go. This might be a little more difficult. This one might be a little more difficult. Okay? What's this? What's this? So number two. <coughs> what is this? This might be a little more difficult. What is this one? I'm drinking water and coffee. Here's my water mug. Lolly has no clue. But do you recognize this? So in, in Europe, maybe it's a different shape. Ah, so Tetsuro is using the Japanese word. <laughs> Constant. So Tetsuro is using the Japanese word. Tetsuro, do you know the English word? Okay, I don't see it yet. Okay, Ella, that that's that's one word. I'm looking for a dip. I'm I'm looking for another one. Oh, uh, okay, Violet, that's the Japanese word. Do you say that in Korea too? Is that is that the um, Korean word also? Um, Tamas, socket, yes. There's there's another word that. Yeah, Tetsuro. Tetsuro, you got it. Nicely done. Outlet. Outlet. Yeah, Miley. Good, good, good. Yeah, Miley. You got it too. Yeah, so outlet. Outlet. The, the socket is the, the thing you put in it. Okay, so, so what you plug in is the socket. Okay, the outlet is, you know, here in the wall, okay? The outlet is in the wall. The socket is what you put in to the, to the outlet. Socket or plug. Yeah, Alice, you could say plug, okay? So the outlet, this is where the power is located, right? The electricity is located here, right? And, and so you put your plug or your socket in here for power. Okay, so outlet. Good, good, good. Okay, outlet, yes. Okay, let's go. We have four cards. Here's card three. Okay, what is this? What is this? What does this mean? Not, not what it is, not magnifying glass. What does it mean? Like for computers and, and tech, the internet. What does this mean for the internet? Okay, that, that's what I should say, like a clue. What does this say for, um, what's this mean? What does it mean according to the internet? What does this mean according to the internet? What does this mean according to the internet? What does this mean according to the internet? Yeah, okay, S uh, Safdar, you got it, Safdar. Yes, Tetsuro. Mary Poppins, how are you? <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Yes, search, search, search. Yeah, Cebu, search. Yeah, search something. Good, good, good. Yep, search. Okay, let's do one more. We got one more, and this is going to be easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, this is going to be easy, easy, too easy. Okay, are you ready? Number four is the easiest. This is the easiest one. You got it. You know this one. Cone connector. Connector. <laughs> connector. Yeah, yeah, this is a magnifying glass, but when we're talking about internet, it means um, search. No, Lolly, no, no, Lolly. Not sound, no. What does this mean? Yeah, okay, you got it. Um, 
Friend. Friend has it. Yes, you got it. Yep. Hey, um, Verla. Hello, Verla. Okay, good. You guys got it. Yes, Wi-Fi. It's Wi-Fi. So if you see this, if you see this symbol, then you know you can, you know, you can use Wi-Fi. So maybe if you go to a coffee shop or a restaurant or a shopping mall, and you see this this symbol, then you know, okay, I can use Wi-Fi here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay, let's review real quick, okay? Here we go. Power, 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 power. Outlet, outlet, outlet. <laughs> I'm laughing, Lolly. I'm laughing. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not laughing at Lolly, but I think it's just funny how... Um, deprecating she's being self-deprecating lolly is being self-deprecating so that means self-deprecating means you make fun of yourself like oh i'm all wrong i got all wrong right so she's self-deprecating but people who self-deprecate they are confident people right so they so they can they can look at themselves and say oh you know i did poorly right without feeling you know, less confident about themselves, right? And so if you self-deprecate, you can, you can um, talk about yourself in a negative way. That means you're confident and you don't worry about what other people think. So I was just laughing because um, what Lolly wrote in the comments. Okay, um, outlet, outlet, outlet. Search, search, search. Search. Okay, <laughs> yeah, Lolly. Wi-Fi. 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 Okay. Yep. Okay. You guys got it. Nicely done. This is kind of fun, right? And I think it's 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 right. These these are symbols, right? So what we're doing is um traditionally we, we study English and we learn English words. We learn English phrases. We learn English grammar, right? And so that's all like written or spoken, right? Written or spoken. But this is symbols, right? Um, pictographs, symbols. So you, you might see these might be like international, right? And you know what it means by just looking at the symbol. You understand what it means, but maybe you don't know the English word, right? So, but if you see it, you know where, where like, Maybe this, for example, you have no idea uh, what this symbol means, where, where these are more, you know, this is the internet, so everyone uses the internet. This is um, internet, right, Wi-Fi. Um, this is what we need to plug in our computer, and this is like what's on our computer, right? This is the symbol for our power. So um, it's good, this is good. So power, Outlet, search, Wi-Fi. Okay, nicely done. Okay, now let's do, what should we do now? Let's do, um, okay, let's do which one doesn't belong. Okay, we'll do one um, because of, of time, okay? So let's do one round of which one doesn't belong, okay? Okay, okay. And um. I need to turn on the air in here because it's starting to get warm. So, so excuse me for, for, give me 10 seconds. I need to turn on the air. It's starting to get hot in here. So sorry, I'm off screen, but you can hear me still. And I just had to flip on the air conditioner because starting to get hot, right? Because I have lights, like I have lots of lights. I have a, a light there. I have another light there, a light there, and then lights up here. So with all the lighting, it, it gets hot. So I had to turn on the air conditioner. Okay, let's, um, let's do which one doesn't belong. Which, which one doesn't belong? Okay, which one doesn't belong? So you're going to... Tell me which one and then why, because. 
And, and remember, right, I always say this, I always say this, this is most important, right? This is numero uno, right? This is the most important because you have to explain yourself in English. You have to use English to describe how you, um, your reasoning, right? You have to describe in English uh, why you decided that one thing doesn't belong, right? Okay, so it's a challenge, and it's it's good for your English, yeah? It's good for you to um, explain yourself, right? And that that's that's you that can be difficult. Like in your in your head, you under you know what you want to say, but it's hard for you to explain yourself in English. So this will help you do that. This will help you practice to explain yourself, explain um, why you think a certain way in English. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> this is light. Is this, say, is this what you mean? Light? So my head, woo, lots of light. <laughs> maybe, maybe say, woo, that's what you're talking about. You are also light. So my head is like a flashlight, like a beacon, right? Like, like a, my head is like a lighthouse, right? A lighthouse is next to the sea and where, where ships can, can spot. Like, okay, we're getting too close to, the, to land, right? So, so the, the um, lighthouse warns ships not to come too close. So my, my head is like a big um, searchlight or a big lighthouse. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got four things. I'm going to tell you four things, and you tell me which one doesn't belong. <laughs> oh, friend, we're the same. Skinheads. Yes, bro. Okay. We are skinhead brothers. Yes. Skinhead brothers. Okay. Okay, brother. Brother skinhead. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah. We got Valinetti. Valinetti. Hello, Valinetti. How you doing? Welcome to the green team, Valinetti. Good to see Valinetti in the house. Hello, hello. And because you are green, because your name is green, I can see you easily, right? And any questions you have or any, anything you want, I can see your name very easily. So um, because you're a green member and um, it's easy for me to see you. So Valinetti, hello. Okay, are you ready? Here are the four things, the four things. A pretzel. A pie, Swiss cheese, and a donut. Hey, Esther, how you doing, Esther? Yes, Lolly welcomes Valinetti. Yeah. Okay, one more time. A pretzel, a pie, Swiss cheese, and a donut. Which one doesn't belong and why? One more time. A pretzel, pie. Swiss cheese and a donut. Which one doesn't belong and why? Nadia, hello. Ah, oh, Tomas welcomes Valinetti. O M, hello, O M. Okay, which one doesn't belong and why? P a pretzel, a pie. Swiss cheese and a donut. Which one doesn't belong and why? Which one and why? Okay, Helga's on the board. Helga says, donut because it is fried. Yeah, a pretzel. Oh, we can, we can have baked pretzels. Yeah, okay, good. Pie, Swiss cheese, good, 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 Helga. I like it. Okay, well, um, friend, just um, do your best. Just um, I can help you with your sentence. Just um, the important thing is just get it down. Just get it down, and think of just like the main words, 
and don't worry about you know making it perfect don't worry about making it perfect okay lollies on the board a donut because there is sugar in it well pie has sugar lolly and and i think pretzels have sugar i'm sure they have sugar uh okay tomas says pretzel because it is a no 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 pretzel pretzel so pretzel is um like that kind of sh a round shape kind of goes like that a pretzel it's a german it's it's um a german food not espresso no 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 a pretzel a pretzel so pie because it is square no hannah a pie is not square no yeah okay pretzel some people have ex um questions pretzel wait 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 <laughs> hold on okay something like okay wait 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 oh no oh no what kind of picture is what is that i don't know what that is <laughs> oh that was terrible okay i'm gonna try to make one <laughs> okay that's sort of okay that's like a pretzel that's close <laughs> hold on i can do better i can do better hold on hold on that's i can do better i think uh, this is hard <laughs> oh boy there we go okay <laughs> that one's better <laughs> Oh, pretzel's hard to draw. That's a pretzel. <laughs> pretzel. I'll, I'll spell it. Pretzel, okay? It, it's German. It's German. Okay, yeah, so pretzel. P-R-E-T-Z-E-L. P-R-E-T. Z E L. Oh, Sabine's in the house. Sabine's German. She knows pretzels. Yep, there's Sabine. Okay, she's got the emoji right there. That's a pretzel. Thank you, Sabine. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, so let me. S yeah, pretzels and beer go together. Yep. So, um, Helga, yeah, so pretzels have, like, chunks of salt on them. And so um, when you're eating something salty, beer tastes really good. So that's why um, pretzels and beer taste good together. Yeah, okay. Okay, yep. So, so in English, we say pretzel, Tomas, pretzel. Okay. Wait, wait, pretzel because it is not round. It's sort of round, henna. It's a little round. It's sort of round. Sleepwalker says pretzel because donut pie cheese are round form. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. So you're 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 thinking perfectly round, right? You're thinking perfectly round. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, I understand. Sleepwalker. Okay, that's a good answer. Okay, Sewu says pretzel because it tastes a bit salty. Okay, here's, here's Lolly with her, her. Okay, Lolly says donut because there is no E in it. Pretzel has an E, pie has an E, um, cheese, Swiss cheese has an E, but a donut has no E. Yes, yes. Oh no! Ranjana, no, don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget my class here. I'm here every Tuesday. I'm here every Wednesday, and I'm here every Friday. Please don't forget. And the times are in the descriptions below, okay? So um, when I have my live stream lessons is listed in the descriptions below the video. So, so please check the, in the descriptions for the times I'm here live. It, it, it's like a biscuit, 
but it, it's not so, yeah yeah it's like a biscuit yeah i i guess so um it it tastes different but i i can see like like a, a pretzel salty a biscuit is sweet okay so pretzels are salty okay let's get going i think um cheese because it is not sweet well pretzels are not sweet pretzels are salty so but and and, and swiss cheese swiss cheese is not sweet no okay ella says swiss cheese because it is made with milk others are made with flour yeah <laughs> see you guys there's lots of ways lots of um, ways to describe and to um, play this game, right? So very, very good. I like it. Marion says, don't it because it's empty inside. Don't it because it's empty inside. No, well, no, it's not empty inside. A donut is, y you know, it, it's like bread all the way through. So there's no hole in the middle. There's not... It's not empty, no. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I don't see my answer yet. Swiss cheese, you don't have to prepare it before eating. Well, a pretzel, you don't have to prepare before eating. A pie, you have to make it, right? And, well, and a donut, you can just buy at the store. You don't have to um, prepare a donut either okay swiss cheese because it's not cooked okay yeah 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 pretzels are cooked pies are cooked and donuts are cooked but not cheese very good tetsuro nice answer tetsuro very good okay let's i'm looking at the clock let's get moving here and i don't see my answer yet Donut, because there is no cheese in it. Pretzels, there's no cheese in pretzels. You, you can um, put cheese in pie, I guess. Um, some people like cheese on top of apple pie. Cheese and apple pie. Some people like that. Actually, I like cheese and apples together. Like an apple. So have an apple, have some cheese, and eat it together. Very good. So actually wine cheese and apples go together so like if you're drinking like a merlot wine and then have an apple and cheese together and those go together okay let's onion pie. <laughs> lolly's onion pie i still haven't tried onion pie yet lolly okay give up okay here we go okay we got people giving up here okay let's I'm going to show you the pictures, and then I'm going to tell you my answer, okay? I'm going to have to cover this up because, okay, we did the top ones, so I'm just going to cover the bottom ones. Okay, here we go. And uh, I'm going to tell you my answer, and then you're going to go, oh, I understand, okay? Here we go. Here is my answer. Okay, so we have, we have... Let's see, pretzels, pie, Swiss cheese, donut. Now, pie, because there's no holes in pies, no holes. Pretzels, there's a hole, hole, hole. Cheese, Swiss cheese, many holes. Da -da 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 -da. And, a, and a donut has a hole in the middle, but not a pie. <laughs> a pie has no holes. But you, I, I liked, I liked your answer. I, I saw some other people with, um, with some good answers like um, uh, cheese because it's not made of flour, right? Okay, so my answer is um, pie, a pie, because there is no hole. Right? No hole in a pie. 
Okay, yeah, okay, yep, yep. No hole in a pie. <laughs> That's right. So we, in pretzel, there's, there's, there's three holes. One, two, three. Three holes in a pretzel. Um, Swiss cheese... <coughs> Swiss cheese has many holes, right? And then a donut has a hole in the center. That's right. <laughs> okay, Tomas. Okay, good, good. Okay, let's let's do um, dictation cards. Okay, here we go. Let's do dictation cards. And um, today's topic is describing taste. Describing taste right so how how does something taste right so we're going to talk about taste okay so um i'm going to actually we're only doing one round so i'm not going to take a picture i will next week we'll, we will review this and then i will take a picture okay so but but today i'm not going to take a picture because there's really not much on the whiteboard okay so um let, let's do our dictation practice. So you need, you need a pencil and a piece of paper, okay? Pencil and paper. And our topic is describing taste. Okay, describing taste. And um, you will need a pencil <coughs> and you will need paper, yeah? And we're going to do three rounds, three steps. Step one, you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Step two, we will shadow the cards together. And then, well, okay, the first step, step one, you're not going to see the picture. You're not going to see the sentence, all right? You're just going to purely listen and write. Then in step two, we're going to shadow again three times. You're not going to see, but then I will show you the card after that. And then we will talk about the meaning, okay? So step two, we will shadow and then talk about the meaning. Then um, step three, you will do it by yourself, okay? You will say the sentence by yourself, okay? So that is... That is today's schedule. That is today's steps for dictation cards, and they're always like that now. Okay, so describing taste, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. All right, so are you ready? Kenneth says, Kenneth has paper and pencil is ready. Okay, it's a tasty topic. Yes, Helga, <laughs> it's, a, it's a tasty topic. I like it. Good, Helga. I like that. Okay, Tomas. Okay, okay. Lolly is ready. Tetsuro, time to do dictation cards. Okay. Uh, Tomas says, we took pretzels in the movie theater. Oh, nice. We usually have popcorn in the movie theater. We usually have popcorn. But kind of the same, right? Salty. Popcorn is salty. Pretzels are salty. So it's kind of the same thing. Okay, here we go. We're ready. Tetsuo is ready. Lolly says, stop shuffling. I stopped. Okay, here we go. Card number one. Count down. Oh, only three times. I'm only going to read the card three times. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm ordering the spicy wings. Second time. I'm ordering the spicy wings. Okay, win is ready. Uh oh. Say, wo what's your sister? Your sister's brother. So, say, Wu's sister's brother. Stop. <laughs> stop bothering, Say, I'm ordering 
the spicy wings. Okay, Lolly. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. Okay, card number two, card number two. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. Yes, say woo. Say woo. Say woo. Okay. Second time. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. Ranjana. HB's in the house. Friend. And the third time. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. Nice lolly. Oh, Ranjan loves spicy wings. <laughs> Okay, card number three. Julia's in the house. Hello, Julia. Okay, good. Okay, card number three. <coughs> Sorry, but your chicken dish is too creamy. Sorry, but your chicken dish is too creamy. Ranjana, nice. Say woo, almost say woo, burgers. Okay, Violet. Okay, third time. Sorry, but your chicken dish is too creamy. Sleepwalker. Helga. Lolly. Okay, here we go. Card number four. Card number four. Five, four, three, two, one. Many people think Goya is too bitter. Second time. Oh, nice HP. Perfect. Second time. Many people think Goya is too bitter. Good say. Woo. Good morning, Turk. Okay, third time. Many people think Goya is too bitter. Mary Poppins. Tetsuro, do you like Goya? Okay, good, good. Okay, nice, everyone. Card number five. Yeah, okay, that, everyone's got that one. Okay, here we go. Card number five. I like salty pretzels with beer. <laughs> yeah, say woo. 
Marcos, how you doing? Marcos is in the house. Yes. Okay, second time. I like salty pretzels with beer. Okay, Lolly. Ranjana. Okay, third time. I like salty pretzels with beer. Good, Helga. Okay, card number six, Julie. Ah. Okay, <laughs> nice, Hashem. Okay, number six. My mother makes the sweetest cookies. It's okay, Mary Poppins. Um, if you don't catch a word, that's fine because um, in round two, we will shadow, so don't worry. If you, if you didn't pick up something, don't worry about it. Second time. My mother makes the sweetest cookies. Third time. My mother makes the sweetest cookies. Yeah, sleepwalker. Good. Everyone's... Okay, this one's no problem. Yeah, no problem. Good. Yes, Marcos. Good. Okay, here we go. Card number seven. Card number seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Add a lime to make your dish sour. <laughs> Did you understand that last word? Uh, the jets are flying now. The jets. The jets are coming. I don't like the jets. I don't like them. Second time. Add a lime to make your dish sour. <laughs> Third time. Add a lime to make your dish sour. That last word is, is difficult to say. <laughs> that last word is difficult to say. Tetsuro, almost Tetsuro. What's that last word there? The last word. Think about like the, the grammar. Think about the grammar. No, Julia. Okay. It's okay if you don't get it. We we will we will um shadow the card, so don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, here we go. Card number eight. Oh Verly. Okay, here we go. Card eight. Card eight. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Tetsuro. Second time. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. No, Marcos. Okay, and this is the third time. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Okay, that was, that was card eight. We are finished with the cards. Okay, Helga. 
almost. Hey, Ava, how are you doing? Ava. Ava, we, we always start at five. Okay. Almost. Sleepwalker. Good. Ava. Hello, Ava. Okay, Ava, now it's time for shadowing, Ava. Okay, so you're just in time for shadowing. Okay, shadowing. Here we go. Let's shadow, and then I will show you the cards. Then we will talk about the meaning. Okay, here we go. This is shadowing time. This is speaking time, not writing time. This is speaking time. This is speaking practice. Here we, okay. Oh, wait, wait, for, for end. I must say, it's the first time I ever streaming. I have only watched the videos, but today I'm me. Okay. Oh, you must go to sleep. Okay, for end. Okay, I'm, thank you for coming and, um, see you next time okay i will be here tomorrow morning okay in the descriptions friend look in the descriptions for the times okay so um good night and um thank you for stopping by okay here we go let's have um speaking practice here we go five four three two one <coughs> i'm ordering the spicy wings i'm ordering the spicy wings i'm ordering the spicy wings I'm ordering the spicy wings. Okay, so chicken wings, but they're we call them spicy wings, right? They're they're um, or hot wings, so they're made with um, hot sauce or or spices, and so little chicken spice, like little chicken wings with spice. So we say um, spicy wings or hot wings. So the taste, the taste is spicy. Do you like spicy food? Okay, um, I have a question. What does mean amount? Amount is a number. Number, amount. So um, number, amount equals number. How many? How many? A number. Okay, here we go. Number two. Yeah, I'm ordering the spicy wings. Good, Sewu. Okay, here we go. Number two. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had had these are the juiciest burgers i have ever had so they taste juicy right so how's it oh it's juicy right and um kind of maybe you might say like savory juicy right so that's especially like for meat right oh it's like so just the right amount of juice yeah okay good number three Sorry, but your chicken dish is too creamy. Sorry, but your chicken dish is too creamy. Sorry, but your creamy dish. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, but your chicken dish is too creamy. 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 That's too creamy, yeah? I'm not, like, I'm not into creamy taste, right? So, um, mm, I, I like a little bit of cream, but I'm, I'm, I'm not into cream. That's, I'm not into a creamy, um, I'm not into creamy food, no. Okay, here we go. Card number four. Many people think Goya is too bitter. 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 Now, 
Goya, that's Japanese, and or like maybe um, in English it would be like bitter melon, bitter melon. All right. So, but I think you know it's from Japan, from Okinawa, and actually these are very healthy for you. Goya is super super healthy for you. Tetsuro lives in Japan. Tetsuro knows about Goya. Um, and maybe you heard bitter melon, and it's very, very bitter, and it, it's an acquired taste. So the first time, it's like, wow, so it's super bitter. But if it's cooked correctly, it, it, can, be, it can be fine. It can taste good, and it's very, very healthy. Yeah. So Sleepwalker has a, like, hmm, what is Goya? So it's very bitter. And it's from Okinawa, but it's everywhere in Japan now. So Tetsuro, I don't like Goya, but it's so healthy. Yes, it's very, very healthy, um, but it is super, super bitter. Uh, Helga, I have never tried. Um, I've never tried Goya. You should try it someday. You should try it. I recommend it. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, a little quick for you. It's okay. You know. Um, at first, everything, right? But just, just hang in there. I can't read your name. I can't. Um, you might be Russian or Ukrainian. Um, I can't read your name. But um, don't worry. We're going to have lots of practice. We, we have lots of practice. So hang in there. If it's a um, little quick for you, just, just, just um, don't give up. And you will start getting it you will start um being able to speak with me so don't give up just keep keep trying doing your best yeah it looks like a cucumber so it might you know it's a cucumber shape so it's a it's a um cucumber shape it's a shape of a cucumber but it's um it's very very bitter but really really healthy for you okay here we go card number five yeah, so Ava says, I have never eaten it. Yeah, many people have never. I never had it until I came to Japan. So, so the, first time I had, the first time I ever had this was here in Japan. So it's not, it's not very popular around the world. Just maybe a few places. Here in, the, in, in Japan, it's very popular. But um, around the world, it may not be popular. Yeah, it seems like um, only Tetsuo and I, only two of us, <laughs> only two of us here have tried. Maybe Koreans have tried this, so, so um, maybe, um, maybe Sewu and Violet. Yes, I like it, Violet. I do. I like it. My wife makes it often. Yeah, so, so we, we have it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't. I've never tried it fried before. Yeah, um, Valnetti. Yeah, so check it out. Um, maybe you can, um, if you go search um, the internet, maybe you can buy Goya seeds. And, um, and if you have a garden in your house, try one season. Try growing these and um, check it out. So maybe you can buy the seeds. So if you, if you search the internet for Goya seeds, maybe you can order the seeds and you could grow them yourself. They're really easy to grow. And um, if you have a garden, try it. Check it out one season and try it. And if you don't like it, then don't, don't do it again. Okay, so in, in, okay, in Korea, they have Goya also. Yeah, so, so Violet, she's Korean and she says yes, so... So in Japan and Korea. So it might be like an Asian, Asian food. Okay, let's go to five. Okay, here we go. Number five, shadowing. I like salty pretzels with beer. I like salty pretzels with beer. I like salty pretzels with beer. Yeah, so Okinawa. Yes, Okinawa. Um, Goya is... Um, started in Okinawa, I think. 
Okay, I like salty pretzels with beer. There we go. There's the pretzels. Remember, we had that in our game. See all the, the, the clump, clumps of salt there? The, the um, chunks of salt. Chunky salt. I like salty pretzels with beer. Okay, here we go. Card number six. My mother makes the sweetest cookies. 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 Yeah, so I like I like sweet cookies. Yeah, I like I like sweet cookies. My favorite cookies are chocolate chip, just like these. Right here, these are kind of like Toll House. Toll House cookies. Mm. Really, really good. They're my favorite. My mother makes the sweetest cookies. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number seven. Oh, and here is the tricky word right here. Many people didn't get this. Okay, here we go. Let's do it together, you and me. Okay, ready? Add a lime to make your dish sourer. <laughs> Add a lime to make your dish sourer. Add a lime to make your dish sourer. Sour, 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 <laughs> sour, bigger, smaller, sour, larger, higher, sour. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, tastier. Uh, dark or darker, sour, sour. Okay, <laughs> add a lime to make your dish sour. Add a lime to make your dish sour, sour, sour. Okay, um, I can't read your name, um, Russian or Ukrainian. So if you put your name in English, maybe with your Ukrainian name and then put um, your English name, then I can, I can call you by your name. Maybe Sleepwalker. Um, what's this person's name, Sleepwalker? Is, or is that Ukrainian or Russian Sleepwalker? I don't know. Okay, add a lime to make your dish sour. And then, do you like that taste? Do you like sour taste? I like sour taste. I, I like lime. I like sour foods. Yeah, Marco, sour, sour, sour. Okay. Oh, Paul. Paul says, Goya, fried Goya with small prawn is delicious. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah, so I think I think Goya is an Asian food, right? So, um, yeah. Okay, here we go. Number eight. Okay. Olga. Okay, Olga. Okay, good, good. Okay, Olga, hang in there. Okay, I okay. So sleep while, Oh, Mary Poppins, are you Ukrainian? Okay, Ukrainian, yes, okay, G Olga, okay, that's an easy name for me to say, okay, good, okay, Olga, welcome, okay, here we go, card number eight, oh, um, Verdi, Om Omla, I don't know Omla fruit, no, I don't know that, okay, here we go, Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Okay, so I like garlicky food. Do you like garlicky food? Yes? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, now it's time for you to do it by yourself, okay? Here we go. This is step three. This is the last time. Now, I'm going to say it, and you say it. 
So step two, we did shadowing, right? So we we're speaking at the same time. Now we are speaking at different times, okay? I'm going to go, and then you go. Sabine, <laughs> Sabine, you got the cards. Sabine sent me a super st sticker because she wants the cards. Thank you, Sabine. Love you. Mwah. Sabine. And, oh, oh, oh. I went last week to a German town and I had German beer and German pretzels and German pretzels and, and sausage. And remember I told you I was going to do a, a toast to you? I did it. I, I, my friend, I went with my friend. I said, okay, there's my friend um, Sabine from YouTube on my live stream. And um, I told him, let's do a toast to Sabine. And we did it, Sabine. Yep. So I, pr I promised and I did it, Sabine. Sabine. Thank you, honey. Oh, thank you so much. Love you, Sabine. Mwah. You're, you're a saint. You're an angel. Sabine is an angel. Thank you so much, Sabine. Mwah. And I will get, oh, Ava's also an angel. That's the, <laughs> Ava gets the cards too. Okay, Ava, you got the cards, Ava. Yes, my two angels, Sabine and Ava. Yes, thank you, Ava. Thank you so much. You too. Mwah. Ava and Sabine. Mwah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Makes me happy. <laughs> okay. Now, it's your turn. Yeah? It's your turn. Okay. So, I'm going to say the sentence, then you say the sentence. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'll go first. I will go first. Yeah, <laughs> very kind. That's right. They are very kind. Yeah, okay. Olga is Ukrainian. Nice. Olga, welcome. Okay, here we go. I'm ordering the spicy wings. Now it's your turn. I'm ordering the spicy wings. I'm ordering the spicy wings. I'm ordering the spicy wings. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. These are the juiciest burgers I have ever had. Sorry, but your chicken dish is too creamy. 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 Many people think Goya is too bitter. 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 
I like salty pretzels with beer. 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 My mother makes the sweetest cookies. 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 Add a lime to make your dish sour. 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 Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, Ava, maybe you need to order the seeds online, Goya seeds, and then you can plant them in your yard and you could try it. You could check it out. Grow it yourself. And then um, the way you cook it, it you need to like um, boil it. You, there's a special way of cooking it. So you need to um, get on the internet, Google um, how to cook Goya, how to make Goya. Because it's not so easy. It's not so easy. Okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Your pasta has just the right amount of garlic. Okay, good. Now, let's, um, let's talk about describing taste. Okay? So, um, we did these cards. Now, I want, I want to see your sentences. Okay? I want to see your sentences. Okay, I have a question. Uh, Nadia, um, good morning. I have, I have a problem with how to break words when reading? Is there a technique to go about it? I'm not sure what you mean, how to break words when reading. I don't understand, Nadia, what you mean by breaking words. So um, please ask, um, reword it. Tell me um, another way, because I don't understand when you say break words, okay? Okay, so let's talk about um, describing tastes. And today's cards, right? Today's cards, um, our tastes were sweet, salty, spicy, sour, bitter, Garlicky, juicy, and creamy. Okay, those are the tastes we did today. Okay, so let's let's go over the pronunciation again. <coughs> okay, sweet, sweet. For example. Uh, cookies are sweet, right? Cookies, cookies are sweet, yeah. 
salty. Pretzels are salty. Yeah, pretzels are salty. Spicy. Uh, spicy wings are salty or are, <laughs> are spicy. Hot wings are spicy. Sour. Limes are sour, right? Limes are sour. Bitter. Goya is bitter. Goya is bitter. Garlicky. Um, garlic is gold. <laughs> or pasta can be garlicky. Yeah, pasta. Um, juicy. Burgers are juicy. Yeah, burgers are juicy. And creamy. Um, for example, a chicken dish. This is a creamy sauce. Creamy sauce. Okay? So creamy. Let's go one more time. So please, let's practice the pronunciation again. Sweet. Sweet. Salty, salty, spicy, spicy, sour, sour, bitter, bitter, garlicky, garlicky, juicy, juicy, creamy, creamy. Okay, so here are some tastes, right? How does the food taste? It tastes sweet. How does it taste? It tastes salty. How does it taste? It tastes spicy. How does it taste? It tastes sour. How does it taste? It tastes bitter. How does it taste? It tastes garlicky. How does it taste? It tastes juicy. How does it taste? It tastes creamy. Okay, so taste. Now, I want you Two, make a sentence, please. And I'm going to write some patterns, all right? I'm going to write some patterns, and you're going to write a sentence in the, ch in the, in the chat box. Okay. Okay. Do you like mm, food? Okay. So do you like spicy food? Do you like... Salty food. Do you like spicy food? Okay. So please um, ask me. Okay. Ask me a question or wait, 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 wait. Ask someone in the, in the um, comment stream, in the chat. Okay. So go ahead and ask anybody. So like, for example, Lolly say, hey, Ava, do you like mm, food? Or, you know, you could say, uh, or sleepwalker, Olga, do you like mm, food? So you could ask me or anybody in the in the chat. Okay, so let's so put the name. So for example, Lolly, who are you asking? Oh, oh Lolly says I like salty food. So um, let's make a question and ask somebody in the chat. You could ask me, or you could ask anyone. Right. So so for example, Lolly, you write. Oh, sleepwalker, comma, do you like salty food? Tomas, you write, hey, um, sleepwalker, do you like juicy food? Oh, my steak, just, oh, so, so, okay, Tomas, I like my steak juicy. I like my, I like my steak juicy. Okay. Oh, Helga, nice. Helga says, do you like spicy food, Tetsuro? Good, good, good. That's, thank you, Helga. That's good. So let's, let's practice asking people in the chat some questions, okay? Oh, Julia, thank you. Mary Poppins, do you like spicy food? Okay, good, 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 good. Nice, nice. Minnie says, Julia, do you like sweet food? Good. So this is good. All right, I like it. I like I like the interaction, right? Not just me, right? Let's interact with, with everybody. Let's interact with the whole community, everyone. Let's do it. Good. Okay, you guys start interacting, and I'm going to write another pattern here, okay?
<laughs> good, 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 good. I'm going to fix this word right here. So if we can make we can make these questions too. So do you like salty food? Do you like sweet food? Do you like um, creamy food? Okay. So and then here, like okay, sometimes I like to eat um, spicy food. Sometimes I like to eat, but we can make it a question. So um, do you sometimes like to eat? Right. So we can make it a question. We can say, do you? Do you sometimes, we don't need the I, right? And then a question mark, right? Do you sometimes like to eat spicy food? Do you sometimes like to eat salty food? Do you sometimes like to eat um, garlicky food? And then here's another one. I hardly ever eat. I hardly ever eat. And then we can make a question. Do you, um, yeah, we don't really use that for a heart. We don't make that a question, really. We, we, this, this is fine, right? Do you sometimes like to eat? Do you, do you ever eat? Okay. This is more like, okay, I hardly ever eat um, salty food. I hardly ever eat creamy food or creamy food. I, yeah, I hardly ever eat creamy food. Do you ever eat creamy food? So for a question, right, you could say, um, do you ever eat? Okay. Right. Okay. So here, do you like to eat? And that's just like, um, yes or no, right? But here, do you ever eat? Meaning, um, hmm. Um, this. Do you like to eat salty food? Do you ever eat? So it kind of means this. It's the same meaning, but um, like maybe a little more. Not so often. Here, it might be often. Here, not so often. Like, oh, do you ever eat spicy food? So your thinking is like, oh, maybe not too often, right? So when you're asking this question, you're thinking uh, maybe this person doesn't eat it often. So like you're thinking not too often. Okay, so, so when you are... When you're asking this question, do you ever, you're thinking uh, maybe not so often. Like, do you ever eat Goya? Ah, not, no, I've never had Goya. Do you ever eat mm, garlicky, garlicky fries? Ah, not, not really, no. Do you ever eat super spicy food ah not not so often do you ever eat um sweet do you ever eat sweet um pasta no i never eat sweet pasta no like here like here in japan they'll put ketchup they'll make pasta with ketchup <laughs> so it's like super sweet right where, um, you know, ketchup is like all salt or sugar, right? So ketchup has lots of sugar. And um, in here in Japan, they'll make pasta with ketchup. And so, so it's sweet pasta, sweet spaghetti. Okay, good, good. You guys are talking yeah you're asking lots of questions this is fantastic yay okay i'm really happy to see your interaction so nicely done everyone it makes me feel good that you are interacting with each other nice nice 
Okay, great, great. Because we are all friends together. We are here. This is a community. So it's great that you guys are um, asking each other questions and learning about each other, right? So I, I'm always talking and I'm always telling you about my experience. So maybe you know a lot about me, but you guys, you're like many people are here every week, right? Especially the green team is always here. And I see many people like Henna, Mary Poppins, Helga, right? So we have lots of people here that are um, here often. And so it's good that you're talking with each other. Okay, I have a question. Um, Pancaz says, um, what's the difference between um, have you ever eaten or have you, have you ever eaten salty food? Wait, wait what's your question? Wait, wait, hold on. I'm trying to pan Kaz. What the difference, by the way? Okay, well, I'm not sure. Okay, by the way, have you ever eaten salty food? Salty is... Um, Salty food is, for example, um, fri French fries, potato chips, you know, food with, with salt, made with salt. And so salt has, you know, a, a special flavor, right? Like, whoa, you know, so if, if you take salt and you put salt, too much salt, let's say you're, you're eating um, a potato or let's say a steak. Many people like um, to put salt on their steak but if you put too much salt uh, it, it it ruins the taste so it's like well there's too much salt so i'm not sure pancas did i answer your question i'm not sure about your question okay good 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 oh salty yakitori okay so tetsuro says salty yakitori yakitori is like um barbecue meat Yakitori, like chicken, yakitori is chicken, and like pieces of chicken on a skewer, and then and then you cook it over um, fire, like a like a barbecue, and so Tetsuo likes to put salt. I like salt and pepper. Yeah. Okay, Helga, Mark, have you ever tried Ukrainian national dishes? No, I mean. I, I I like I like potatoes and I like stew. Like I like um, meat stew. I like uh, meat pies. But I'm not sure um, Ukrainian special Ukrainian food. I'm not sure. No, I've never never. Okay, good 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 good. Julia says I like bitter chocolate salty popcorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too. Me too, Julia. Actually, I like oh, sweet and spicy bibimbap. Yeah, me too. I like bibimbap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love bibimbap. Actually, I had it just the other night. I had bibimbap. Um, yeah, here where I live, um, Helga, there's no Ukrainian food. There's, where I live, there are the restaurants close to me. We have Indian food. We have um, Chinese food. We have, let's see, Indian, Chinese, Japanese, American food. And maybe that's about, oh, Italian food, Italian food, Korean food. So, yeah, those are the main foods, restaurants in my town. Chinese, Korean, Italian, American, Indian. Those are the, the, the most popular. Yeah, I like borscht. Yeah, so I know borscht. I've had borscht, but never like in a real Ukrainian restaurant. Never. Only um, like in the supermarket. <laughs> Supermarket borscht. That's all I've eaten. Yeah, Italian food is great, right? I love pasta. I love pizza. Yeah. So I wish, 
like where I live in Japan, it's not very um, metropolitan, or it's not, it's kind of countryside where I live. And so th it's, there's not lots of diversity where I live here in Japan. So um, don't get a lot of different types of food. When I lived in Japan, or when I lived in Los Angeles, there was lots of um, different foods, like, like Cuban food and, and Thai food. Well, Thai, we have Thai food here. Um, but there are like not so many French restaurants and where I live. But in Los Angeles, there are many kinds, like Mexican and things like that. But don't see many Ukrainian restaurants in America. I did In California, I didn't see many Ukrainian restaurants. I didn't see any Ukrainian restaurants or Russian restaurants. So anyways. Okay, let's... Okay, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard, okay? There, there's lots of good stuff. And now it's time to do Lolly's Revenge, okay? We're going to do Lolly's Revenge, which is a conversation between Joe and Sue, all right? So Joe and Sue, and there are four steps. I'm going to read the conversation. I am going to ask you questions. We will read it, and we will shadow it, okay? Okay, okay, Pan Pancas, okay. What's the difference between have you ever eaten... Um, do you ever eat? Okay, okay, I got it now. Okay, good question. Have you ever eaten would be, um, have you tried? Have you tried it before? Like, have you ever tried? Like, mm, have you ever tried? And then, um, do you ever? Um, so there's really no, there's no difference. No. Okay, have you ever tried? Have you ever tasted? Right? Have you tried? Like one time, one time have you eaten? Right? Do you eat? So like, like the better question is how often do you? Okay, that, that's a good. Okay, so for example, have you ever... Okay, and like one time have you, have you tasted? One time have you tasted? In your life, have you ever, it's like in your life. Have you ever, you know, one time in your life? One time in your life. Okay, do you ever... <laughs> Or how, it, it should be like, so do you ever, okay, so here I wrote, do you ever eat? Yeah, okay, I understand your question, or like, uh, your confusion. So, so, <sighs> I, I, yeah, so okay, do you like, right, do you like salty food? Yes, I do, no, I don't. Do you like spicy food? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you ever? Um, yeah, I, let, let's change that. That, that, could, that. that can be confusing, right? Because do you ever means um, how often do you, like, like once a month? Okay, so it's better saying how often do you? Okay, that's better. Okay, I, this is kind of confusing. So let's change this to um, how often do you? How often do you eat? So, for example, how often do you eat pizza? Oh, I have pizza once a month. How often do you eat pasta? Okay, how often? So, that, that's better. How often do you eat? Okay, so I, I'm sorry for confusing. I could, um, yeah, so it might be confusing, right? So, have you ever, that is like one time in your life have you tried right have you have you ever tried have you right have you ever eaten okay 
So uh, it's, it's hard. So in your, in your life, in your life, have you one time put that in your mouth? <laughs> have you put that in your mouth? <laughs> okay, uh, Olga, the national food of Ukraine is bacon with borscht. Okay, I want to try it. Gosh, I live in, where I live in Japan, there's not, there's not many restaurants. <laughs> I live in the countryside. Oh, ah, I need to, I need to um, get away from the country. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard. Okay, you can't see me, but you can hear me. I'm taking the picture, countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I got it. Okay, good, good, good. Now it's time for Lolly's Revenge. Okay, how often do you eat chicken? Uh, every week. I eat chicken every week. How often do you eat chicken? Every week. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to erase now. How have, have you ever eaten insects? Okay, that's a good question, right? So have you ever eaten an insect? Yes, I think so. Yes, I have. I think I have. I, it's, I think I have a long time ago. I think I have. I think so. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember exactly, but I, I have a memory of it. I think I have. Not recently. Not recently. Sleep, have, um, okay, Sleepwalker has a question. Uh, Mark, is there something what you like to eat in L.A. and can't find in Japan? Yes, many things, Sleepwalker. Many, many things. Thank you, Olga. Especially good Mexican food. Mexican food. Uh, Mexican is my favorite. Tacos, burritos, enchiladas, tostadas, um, quesadillas. So um, Mexican is my favorite, and um, I have to make it myself, right? So I have to make my own Mexican food. I have to make tacos myself, so it's not the same as like a, a Mexican restaurant. So I miss Mexican food and um, like diners, right? So um, like an like a American diner where you you walk in and there's like a counter and the big menu and lots of um lots of breakfast items you know pancakes and and um eggs and omelets right and and then um for lunch you know like burgers and and things like that so so i miss american diners i miss mexican restaurants i miss American Italian food, American, like American pizza. I miss American pizza. I miss like New York style pizza. I miss um, Italian style pizza. Yeah, lots, lots, lots of things. <laughs> so many, many things I miss, yeah. Y yeah, so... Um, Mexican food is not popular in Japan. I mean, you, in, the, in the city, right? Like if you go to the bigger... I live in the countryside. So if you go to the city, you can find Mexican restaurants. But they're not like American Mexican restaurants or Mexico Mexican restaurants, right? It's not the same. Not the same. Okay. I... Okay. I need to erase the whiteboard because we are going to do... Lolly's Revenge, and I need the whiteboard. Yeah, Kenneth, Mexican food is the best. Yeah, yeah. And, and Mexican food is very simple, right? Very simple. Um, basically, basically, everything is like um, tortillas. You'll have like meat. Like it could be pork or chicken or beef. And then lettuce, tomato, and onion. And um, some hot sauce. And that's it. All right? Tortilla, <coughs> meat, lettuce, tomato, cheese, 
and that's Mexican food. <laughs> meat, but then like the meat is made, cooked, like the, the I like um, carnitas. So carnitas is pork, but they do it really good. So, so I, I like, I like um, carnitas tacos, yeah? Okay, yes, yes, Tetro, LA is close to Mexico, yep. Sewu, how often do you eat sushi in Japan? Every week. <laughs> I have sushi every week in Japan. Yes, yes. How about in Korea? How often do you eat sushi in Korea? Okay, let's do Lolly's Revenge. Here it is right here. And I got it right here. Okay. And we're going to do four steps, right? Step one. Step one, I will read the conversation. And if you want me to read it again, OMT, which is one more time. MS, more slowly. LT, last time, okay? Many of you know this, but maybe some of you here first time, right? Okay, step two is um, QT, which is question time. So I will read you the questions so you can check how well you listened, your comprehension. And then step three is reading. Right? We will read the conversation. And then step four is shadowing, speaking. Okay? Shadowing. All right. So... Step one, I'm going to read the conversation. Step two, I will ask you questions. Hold on. I will ask you questions. Step three, we will read the conversation. And step four, we will shadow the conversation. Okay? Yeah? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, Tetsuros. I, I like the, um, the conveyor belt sushi. <laughs> The, the family style sushi, hamazushi. So we always go to the family sushi restaurant. Mm. Julia, that's right, you, you're Ukraini Ukrainian. So we have lots of Ukrainian people here. Um, Julia says sushi is very popular in the Ukraine. Um, we all no, it's Japanese food. <laughs> okay, Joe and Sue. Yes, Joe and Sue. Let's do it. Okay, this is Joe. Say hello to Joe. This is Sue. Say hello to Sue. Okay, here we go. Joe and Sue. Yeah, hamazushi. We like hama Our family, we like hamazushi. Yeah, Tetsuro. <laughs> maybe, Tetsuro, maybe you go to the expensive sushi restaurants, yeah? I, I, you live in um, Shiwa, Shiwakawa, Shiwakawa. Sh I, yeah, I've been Shiwakawa. Is that right? Oh, what? No, um, Shinakawa, Shinakawa, right? And um, that that place is busy. Yeah, Shinakawa. But you have many restaurants and many um, different kinds of food in Shinakawa. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is Joe. Joe is first. Sue, are you busy right now? No, I'm checking my email. Where are you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He's on the phone. We're on the phone. Okay, I, I forgot to tell you. Sorry, let me, let me, let me. Let me change this, okay? We're on the phone. Okay, so Joe is calling Sue, okay? So that's very, Shinagawa, yeah. So I, I've been to Shinagawa many times and there are many restaurants in Shinagawa. Yeah. Okay, so Joe is on the telephone, 
Okay, Joe and Sue are on the telephone, so that's important information. Okay, here we go. Okay, on the telephone. Uh, so Joe is talking to Sue on the telephone. Here we go. Sue. No, this is Joe. Sorry, Joe, 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 Joe. Sue, are you busy right now? No, I'm checking my email. Where are you? I'm at the park and need your help. What kind of help? Could you bring my wallet to me? Why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it. So? I can't drive without it. How did you get to the park? How did you get to the park? <laughs> That's right, Sleepwalker. That's right. No, I don't have WhatsApp. No, just only YouTube. That's all I. That's all I do here at YouTube. Okay, Lolly. O M T M S M S M S. Okay, and on the telephone. Okay, on the telephone. Here we go. Joe is first. <laughs> Okay. Sue, are you busy right now? No, I'm checking my email. Where are you? I'm at the park and need your help. What kind of help? Could you bring my wallet to me? Why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it. So? I can't drive without it. How did you get to the park? How did you get to the park? Whoa, Tomas. Okay, say woo. One more time. Okay, the green team. I do what the green team tells me, right? The green team, they are supporters, right? So if the green team says one more time, please, then I will do it. Okay, MS, yes. OMT, MS, you got it. Sleepwalker is ready. Okay, here we go. OMT, MS, OMT, MS. Here we go. Sue, are you busy right now? No. I'm just checking my email. Where are you? I'm at the park and need your help. What kind of help? Could you bring my wallet to me? Why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it. So? I can't drive without it. How did you get to the park? <laughs> Sleepwalker. Marcos, QT, Marcos. Okay, green team, what is it, green team? What shall we do? What shall we do? <laughs> what shall we do? What do you want to do? Are we ready? QT? LT? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, I'm waiting for your answer. Where is it? LT or QT? Okay, Lolly. Good idea. Okay, here we go. LTMS. LTMS. Last time, more slowly. Last time, more slowly. Last time, more slowly then okay sabine tetsuro we're going to do ltms then qt okay here we go last time more slowly sue are you busy right now no i'm just checking my email where are you i'm at the park and need your help what kind of help? Could you bring my wallet to me? 
why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it. So, I can't drive without it. How did you get to the park? Okay, Tomas, if you don't know your license is not in your pocket, you can drive calmly, but when you know this problem, you will not be brave enough to drive without it. <laughs> okay, say woo. Say woo. LT. Okay, say woo. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, say woo once last time. Okay, say woo. Okay, I'm going to do it for say woo. She's a new green member. I'm going to do it for say woo. Okay, here we go. Sue, are you busy right now? No, I'm just checking my email. Where are you? I'm at the park and need your help. What kind of help? Could you bring my wallet to me? Why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it, so I can't drive without it. How did you get to the park? <laughs> How did you get to the park? Okay, good, good, good. All right, okay. Sewu, I hope um, everything's good. I hope you understand. Okay, it is question time now. It is step two question time. Uh, Hannah says, Joe wants Sue to bring his wallet at the park because his driver's license is in it. He needs her help. Yes, that's right, Hannah. Good. Okay, here we go. That happened to me. <laughs> that happened to Tomas, that's funny. Okay, great. Here we go. Question. Yes, Sewu. Question time. Fantastic, Sewu. Good. Tetsuro, I'll try. You, you. No problem for Tetsuro. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much, Keiko. Okay, Kako. Okay, question number one. Question number one. What is Sue doing? Question number one. What is Sue doing? Question number one. What is Sue doing? What is Sue doing? What is Sue doing? Question one. What is Sue doing? What is Sue doing? Sue, what are you doing? Okay, Sleepwalker says, Sue is checking her email. Lolly says, she is checking her email. Yes, that is correct. Yes, Tetsuro, she is checking emails. Yes, that is correct. That is right. You are right. You are right. She is checking her email that's right she is checking her email yes julia very good everyone yes yes all right let's go to question number two everyone that's easy no problem everyone's got it here we go question number two where is joe <laughs> where where is Joe? Where is Joe? Question two. Where is Joe? Where is Joe? Where is Joe? Question two. Where is Joe? Yes, Sewu. She, she is checking her email. Sewu, she is checking her email. Ah, Canis, perfect. So, Sewu, look at Canis. Okay, number two, Lolly's on the board. He is at the park. Yes, Sleepwalker. Joe is at the park. Yes. HB says Sue is checking her email. Perfect, HB. Helga, he is in the park. Tetsuro, he is at the park. We can say in the park or at the park. It doesn't matter which way. It both means the same. 
in the park, at the park. Okay, good. Lolly, he is at the park. Tomas, Joe is in the park. Okay, same meaning, no problem. At the park, in the park. It doesn't matter. Okay, good. Tomas, Joe is at the park. Yes. HB, Joe is in the park. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay, these are easy. Yeah, okay, Sewu. He is at the park. Perfect, Sewu. Okay, question number three. Marcos, Joe is in the park. Yes, either way, in the park or at the park, same meaning. Okay, here we go. Question number three. What does Joe want Sue to do for him? What does Joe want Sue to do for him? What does Joe want Sue to do for him? What does Sue, no. <laughs> what does Joe want Sue to do for him? What does Joe want Sue to do for him? That's question number three. What does Joe want Sue to do for him? Same. That's all. It doesn't matter. They, it means the same. In this situation, right? Case by case. So um, what's hard about English is like case by case. <laughs> in this case, in the park, at the park, same meaning. Other cases, it could be different, okay? So it's not... They mean different things depending on the situation, depending on the case. Okay, sleepwalker. Question number three. He needs to take. He needs to take his wallet because no, 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 no. Okay, sleepwalker. Look at Lolly. Okay, Lolly says he wants Sue to bring his wallet to him. He wants Sue to bring his wallet to him. Perfect. Lolly. That is perfect sentence. Uh, Helga. He asked her if she can bring him his wallet. Perfect. Helga. Nice sentence. Tetsuro. He wants her to bring his wallet to him. Yes. B-boy. Bring his wallet. Yes. B-boy. Julia. He wants Sue to bring to him his driver's license. Okay. Um, Julia, he wants Sue to bring him his driver. Wait, wait, wait. I he wants Sue to bring him. Okay, you don't need to him. Okay, Julia, no to. He wants Sue to bring him his driver's license. Okay, Hannah, he wants Sue to bring his wallet. Yes, B-boy. He wants her to bring his wallet to him. Perfect. Now, this might be a little difficult because we're using these pronouns, right? So, well done. We have possessive pronouns and, and, and proper pronouns. Perfect. Okay, Tomas, he asked Sue to bring him his driver's license. Yes. Okay, Shai, he wants Sue to bring his wallet. Okay, Shai. He wants Sue to bring his wallet. Okay, Almeida. He needs Sue to bring his wallet. He needs Sue to bring his wallet. He needs Sue to bring his wallet. I like that. That's a good, that's a good answer. He needs her to bring his wallet. Um, let's see, Violet. He asked her if she can bring his wallet. Per I like that, Violet. That's a good sentence, Violet. He asked her if she can bring his wallet. I like it. I like it. Mary Poppins, Joe wants Sue to bring him his wallet. Yes, Mary Poppins. Alice, Joe asks Sue to bring his wallet. Bring. So, to him. So, Sue, bring it to him, to me, to Joe. Okay, say woo. Uh, she, 
she comes to bring his wife. Say what? He wants her to bring his wallet. Okay, Sewu, you're going to fix your sentence. Okay, Sewu, you got it? Okay, here we go, Sewu. She, he, he wants her to bring his wallet. Okay, Sewu? He wants her to bring his wallet. He wants her to bring his wallet. He wants her to bring his wallet. Sewu, please write that down. Okay, Marcos. Joe asked Joe asked to sue to bring him the wallet. Okay, Marcos. Joe asked Sue. We don't need to. Joe asked Sue to bring him the wallet. Okay, that's a good sentence, but no to. The two kind of kind of um makes it confusing okay so just that one preposition can make make it confusing okay so take out the two and it's a good sentence joe asked sue to bring him the wallet so two sue two that that's confusing okay so we don't need two sue two joe asked sue to bring him the wallet joe asked him no, no, Joe asked Sue to bring him the wallet. Sorry, Marcos. Joe asked Sue to bring him the wallet. Sleepwalker. Joe wants Sue to bring his wallet. Yeah, that's simple and easy. Right? We Like, remember, simple is best. Simple is best, right? He's, we're communicating, right? So if it's simple, then the communication is easy, right? Simple makes communication easy. Simple makes communication easy. Simple makes communication easy. Okay, Sleepwalker. Joe wants Sue to bring his wallet. Perfect, right? That's the correct, that's true. That's perfect. Alice, Joe needs Sue's help to take his wallet. No, not take his wallet. Alice, bring his wallet. Bring his wallet. Bring it to Joe. Bring it to Joe. Or we could say, Sue is going to take Joe his wallet. So from, okay, so Joe is calling. Okay, bring me my wallet. I am, I am the subject, right? Bring my wallet to me. Bring it to me. Okay, and then Sue is going to, okay, I'm going to take it to you. I'm going to take it to you. Okay, so Joe's perspective, bring it to me. Bring it to me, and Sue's going to, okay, I'm going to take it to you. I'm going to take it to you. Bring it to me, take it to you. Bring it to me, take it to you, okay? Bring it to me, take it to you, okay? Sleepwalker says, maybe she won't come. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, good. Tetsuro. Sleepwalker, I couldn't agree more with you. Okay, Tetsuro. Sleepwalker, I couldn't agree more with you. Tetsuro, with you. I couldn't agree more with you. I couldn't agree more with you. I couldn't agree more with you. Okay. Sue to Joe. I'll be there in two hours. <laughs> I'm taking my time. Right, Marcos? Sue is saying, I'm taking my time. Violet, bring it to me. Yes. Bring it to me. Good, 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 Violet. Take it to you. Yeah. Bring it to me. Take it to you. Bring it to me. Take it to you. Perfect. It may be easy for you to remember that, right? Bring it to me. Take it to you. Bring it to me. Take it to you. And Marcos, Sue is taking her time. Sue is taking her time. Sue is taking her time. Okay, here we go. Now, number four is going to be a quiz. Are you ready for a quiz? B-Boy says he wants her to bring him his wallet. Yes, B-Boy, perfect. Okay, here's a quiz 
Are you ready for a quiz? Here we go. Question four is a quiz. Okay? Not a question. Well, it's a question, but it's a quiz. Here we go. Question number four, it's a quiz. How did Joe get to the park? How did Joe get to the park? How did Joe get to the park? Woo! How did Joe get to the park? Yes, Alice, bring it to me, take it to you. Bring it to me, take it to you. Bring it to me, take it to you. How did Joe get to the park? Lolly said, he got to the park by car. So my question is in the past. How did, how did Joe get to the park? How did Joe get to the park? Lolly says Joe got there by car. Sleep Parker says he arrived by car and he didn't know that he didn't have a driver's license. Sleepwalker says, he arrived by car and he didn't know that he didn't have a driver's license. <laughs> he arrived by car and didn't know that he didn't have his license. He didn't know he didn't have his license. He didn't know he didn't have his license. Can you say that? He didn't know he didn't have his license. He didn't know he didn't have his license. He didn't know he didn't know he didn't have his license. He didn't know he didn't have his license. <laughs> Julia says he got to the park by his car, but without his driver's license that's terrible helga he simply forgot his license now helga is a very calm person right helga is very sensible right helga is not extreme helga says he simply forgot his license he simply forgot his license he simply forgot his license he simply forgot his license. He didn't notice he didn't have his license. He didn't notice he didn't have his license, Hannah says. Hannah says he didn't notice that he didn't have his license. He didn't notice that he didn't have his license. He didn't notice that he didn't have his license. He didn't notice that he didn't have his license. <laughs> oh, Sebu said, he walked to the park. He walked to the park. Nice. Sleepwalker, he didn't know he didn't have his license. Easy peasy. He didn't know he didn't have his license. He didn't know he didn't have his license. Okay. Joe got to the park by foot. His car was parked near the park. B-boy, he couldn't get there because he didn't have his license. That is why he was asking Sue to bring him his wallet. Nice sentence. Okay, Marco says, Joe could be arrested and go to jail. Oh, no. Joe, Joe could be arrested. Wait. Joe could be arrested and go to jail. Joe could be arrested and go to jail. Joe could be arrested and go to jail. Tetsuro says he took a taxi or bus because he didn't have his driver's license. He took a taxi or a bus because he didn't have his, his driver's license. He took a taxi or a bus because he didn't have his driver's license. He took a taxi or a bus because he didn't have his driver's license. Tomas says, the police know you have license. Wait, the police know you have a license or not. The police know 
you have a license or not. Hannah, he didn't notice that he didn't have his license. Hannah, he didn't notice that he didn't have his license. He didn't notice that he didn't have his license. He didn't know he didn't have his license. Okay. How did Joe get to the park? That, he, that is what happened. He didn't notice that he didn't have his license, right? He drove to the park, but he didn't notice that he didn't have his license. He didn't notice that he didn't have his license. Yeah, that is what happened. It's like he got to the park and they go, oh no, I forgot my license. I can't drive home. I drove to the park. Woo, I got lucky, right? The police, I didn't get pulled over by the police. So I need my wallet because my license is in the wallet and I need my license to drive back home, right? So that is the problem, yeah. And maybe, like Marco said, Sue's going to take her time. Sue's going to take her time. <laughs> Because maybe Sue is annoyed, right? Sue is annoyed. Like, oh, I, have I don't want to drive to the park to bring your license to you, right? I don't want to drive to the park to bring your license to you. I don't want to bring your license to you. No. Okay, here we go. Tomas, oh my gosh, I left my wallet at home. Thought Joe, yes, Tomas. Oh my gosh, I left my wallet at home. Joe thought, my driver's license is at home, HB. My driver's license is at home. My driver's license is at home. Marco says, Joe, you don't forget your license. Wait, Joe, you don't forget your head because it's on your neck. Um, yeah, so like um, there's the expression like um, what's the expression Marcos? I, I forgot like um, you would forget your head if it wasn't on your neck. <laughs> Joe, you would forget your head if it wasn't on your neck. <laughs> Joe, you would forget your head if it wasn't on your neck. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, let's Let's read it now, okay? Let's read it, everybody. So I'm going to show you the, the, um, Christina, hello. Did you get the cards last time? I sent you your cards. Thank you, Christina. Mwah. Hello, Christina. Good morning. Okay, Christina, we're going to read the conversation now. Here we go. I'm going to have to move my computer a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let's read it. Okay, here's Joe is first. Sue, are you busy right now? No, I'm just checking my email. Where are you? I'm at the park and need your help. What kind of help? Could you bring me my wallet? Sorry, could you bring my wallet to me? Why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it. So, I can't drive without it. How did you get to the park? How did you get to the park? <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Let's read it one more time. Here we go. Sue, are you busy right now? So they're on the phone. I forgot to. So, so they're on the phone, on the telephone, right? So, so Joe is calling Sue. Sue, are you busy right now? No, I'm just checking my email. Where are you? I'm at the park and need your help. What kind of help? Could you bring my wallet to me? Why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it. So, I can't drive without it. How did you get to the park? How did you get to the park? Oh, LA! Yes, Jimenez, hello, 3.20 a.m. Maybe. Whoa. 
Mary, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, Mary Jimenez, we are shadowing right now. Okay. So I hope you are um, awake. <laughs> are you ready to shadow Mary Jimenez? Okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Sue, are you busy right now? Sue, are you busy right now? Are you busy right now? Are you busy right now? Okay, yeah, we're shadowing. We, we are shadowing. Are you busy right now? No, I'm just checking my email. No, I'm just checking my email. No, I'm just checking my email. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm at the park and need your help. I'm at the park and need your help. I'm at the park and need your help. What kind of help? What kind of help? What kind of help? Could you bring me my wallet? Could you bring me my wallet? Could you bring? No, 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 no. Could you bring my wallet to me? Sorry, sorry. Could you bring my wallet to me? Could you bring my wallet to me? Could you bring my wallet to me? Why can't you come and get it yourself? Why can't you come and get it yourself. Why can't you come and get it yourself? Why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it. 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 So, 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 I can't drive without it. 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 How did you get to the park? 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 Get to the park? Okay, let's look, look at it one more time and then we're finished, okay? So here we go. Sue, are you busy right now? No, I'm just checking my email. Where are you? I'm at the park and need your help. What kind of help? Could you bring my wallet to me? Why can't you come and get it yourself? My driver's license is in it. So, I can't drive without it. How did you get to the park? How did you get to the park? Okay, say woo. Could you bring my wallet to me? Could you bring my wallet to me? Are you busy right now? Are you busy right now? No, I'm just checking my email. No, I'm just checking my email. <laughs> okay. My driver's license is in it. My driver's license is in it. My driver's license is in it. Okay. Very good, everyone. We did it. <laughs> we are finished. We did it. Yeah. We... I read you the conversation. I asked you questions about the conversation. We, we read the conversation and we shadowed the conversation. Yes, we did. How did you get to the park? How did you get to the park? I wonder how on earth Joe got to the park. Okay, Tetsuro, he drove without his license. Oh no, Joe drove to the park without his license. Joe drove to the park without his license. Joe drove to the park without his license. But he didn't realize. He didn't notice 
he didn't have his license. He didn't notice he didn't have his license. He didn't notice he didn't have his license. He didn't, he did not notice he did not have his license. We, Sleepwalker says, we did a lot of activities. Yes, we did. That's what we do here. We do activity-based teaching or activity-based learning. This is activity-based learning. That's what we do here. We learn English doing activities. Yes, for example, a conversation. We do, we learn doing dictation practice. We learn by doing um, games, right? We learn by listening. We learn by um, writing. We learn by shadowing. We learn by um, activities, doing things, right? That's how we learn here. That's right. Sewu, do you have an international driver's license? No, I have um, a Japanese driver's license. I have a Japanese driver's license. But I can, when I go to the States, I get an international license. When I go back to California, I get an international driver's license. But I have here a Japanese license. Okay. At first, he didn't, at first, he did not know about his driver's license. Yep. Okay. Helga, you are very welcome, Helga. Um, you are very, very welcome, and it's my pleasure. And please join the channel, everybody. Come on, let's get, let's be green. Come on, come on, green people, green people. Let's let's get more green people. Join the channel. Join the channel. Come on, join the channel. Check it out, okay? If you want more content, please join the channel. If you want weekly quizzes, if you want um a monthly members only live stream if you want to zoom once a month join the channel yes and um we have different levels starter level standard level professional level and extreme level so please check it out join the channel that would be fantastic um join the green team we are very kind here we are um we are a nice group of people. <laughs> the green team is a nice group of people. Okay, thanks so much, everyone. And um, Sabine, mwah, and Ava, mwah, thank you so much. And um, when I finish here, when we finish, I'm going to send you the cards. You got it, okay? So thanks, everyone. I'm going to be back here tomorrow, Wednesday, at 10 a.m., okay? So please... Um, the times are in the descriptions below. I'm here on Tuesday, 5 p.m., Wednesday, 10 a.m., and Friday, 10 a.m., Japan time. Okay, so thanks so much. Oh, well, okay, some people, they don't have the option. Do you see, um, Alice, do you see this? Do you see this join button? If you see it, hit it. If you see it, hit it. If you don't see it, that means it's not yet available where you live. Okay, I think it's available most countries, but still, maybe some countries, this is not available. Okay, um, you can you can check out Patreon, and you can see the um, benefits of Patreon. So, if if this isn't available, please check this out or do both or whatever <laughs> okay great okay tetsuo i will have i will tamas okay lunch lunch time for tamas okay all right well it's time to go now okay thank you we've been here two and a half hours i said two hours but it's been two and a half we always go overtime don't we okay um kenneth says please can you take photos my driver's license sent to me <laughs> no, Ken is. I'm not gonna take a photo of my driver's license for you. No, 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 no. That's not safe, is it? Okay. Ava. Mwah, thank you. Okay, Sewu, thank you. Okay, 
Green Team, thank you so much. Yes, bye-bye, Violet. Okay, um, I will be here Wednesday, tomorrow at 10 a.m., so please check it out. And let's say goodbye together, okay? Let's count down to five and say goodbye together, you and me together, okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thanks, everyone. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night. Have a good evening, wherever you are. Thank you for being here with me. And um, smile, stay safe, be healthy, and... Um, Good luck. <laughs> okay, thanks everyone. Take it easy. Bye.